why would you want to estimate the SD of the box by this rather than by the SD of the sample? So th the, there's a technical reason, but I'll, I'll try to explain the heuristic behind it. So when I calculate the sample mean, the sample mean of a list has a special property, right? The sample mean is the number that minimizes the sum of the square deviations, right? It's the number from which the sum of the square deviations is smallest, right? So if instead of plugging in the sample mean here, I plugged in the mean of the box, then what would happen to this sum of squares? Would it get bigger or smaller? I've got, I've got a list of numbers. They're a sample from the box. In one case, I'm subtracting from that sample the mean of the sample. In the other case, I'm subtracting from that sample the mean of the box. Which is going to give a larger sum of squares? The mean, if I put it, if, if m is equal to the mean of the sample or if m is equal to the mean of the box? OK, the mean of the box is, in general, going to give me a larger sum of squares than the mean of the sample, because the mean of the sample is the number that makes that as small as possible. The mean of the box isn't typically going to make it as small. OK? So if I'm trying to figure out how scattered things are around the mean of the box to find the SD of the box, but I don't know the mean of the box, and instead I plug in the mean of the sample, the scatter around the mean of the sample is going to tend to be a little too small. OK, so by blowing it up by this factor, I get it to be back to be about, a, about the right size. OK, this is going to tend to underestimate the scatter in the box because I'm looking at the scatter around that quantity around which the scatter is smallest rather than the scatter around the mean of the box. So far, so good? OK, so the, the technical story is the following, that S squared is an unbiased estimator of SD of the box squared for sampling with replacement. OK, so what does unbiased mean? It means that the expected value of this is equal to this. OK, and that's true in a particular case if the sample, it's true if the sample is drawn with replacement. Why should this matter? OK, so first of all, S squared is unbiased for the SD of the box squared. Does that mean that S is unbiased for SD of the box? S squared is an unbiased estimator of this. Is S an unbiased estimator of that? Not necessarily, right? OK, so typically not, in fact. So S squared is unbiased for SD, the box squared. That doesn't mean that S is, a, is unbiased for SD, right? Moreover, we're talking about simple random samples. We're sampling without replacement, not with replacement. So what happens under sampling with replacement seems like it's a little off base. Yep. Nonetheless, this is what it is traditional to use to estimate the SD of the box. OK? Um, it's in the situations where the sample size is large enough that you can rely on this as being a pretty good estimator, the difference between n and n minus 1 isn't going to matter, noticeably. Right. n is going to be big. Um, all right, so we've got the 
conservative bound on the SD of the box for a 0, 1 box, that is the SD of a 0, 1 box can't be bigger than a half. We have the bootstrap estimate of the SD of a 0, 1 box, S, which is based on substituting the sample percentage for the actual percentage, pretending that the sample percentage is exactly right. And then we have the generalization of that to the bootstrap estimate for a box that has things other than zeros and ones. And then we have the slight variant of that, the sample standard deviation, which divides by n minus 1 instead of n before taking the square root. It tends to be slightly larger, and it has this funny characteristic that it's an unbiased estimate of the SD of the box squared 